most of them are young between two, two, uh, 20 and 40 years. This is uh, the, the people that come to Islam. And most of them are women. Most of them are women. Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. As you could see from the title, today I'm going to react to several videos about how Islam is growing in Latin America. But before we start, help me with algorithm by liking, sharing and commenting. And if you are new and not subscribed yet, subscribe for more videos like this because I upload weekly videos about Islam. And now let's begin. Every evening during Ramadan, members of Bogota's small but growing Muslim community gather at the end of another day of fasting. Islam is growing in popularity in many of Colombia's urban centers, and this mosque is no exception. There's a mixture of both Arab and Colombian worshippers. I will stop it really quick just to say that they have so wonderful mosque already. This is so nice in Bogota. Wow, I love it. Most of them are young, between two, two, uh, 20 and 40 years. This is uh, the, the people that come to Islam. And most of them are women. Most of them are women. Uh, I can say 70% uh, of converts are Muslim women and not, uh, not men. A decade ago, there was only one mosque here in Bogota. Now there are six. And in recent years, increasing numbers of Colombian Catholics have been abandoning their faith for Islam. And while Colombia has one of the smallest Muslim populations in South America, with between 30 to 40,000 members, followers say it's getting bigger every year. So many, so many reverted to Islam, mashallah. Santiago converted to Islam 12 years ago and is now passing on the teachings of the Quran to his young son Ismail. He says Islam is a global religion that's attracting new members in Colombia by up to 15 or 20 percent every year. It is a growing community. Uh, I think if you look at the, the mosques in the capital city, for instance, you'll see more than half of the people are native Colombians who became, I mean, Colombians who became Muslim without any, any effort at proselytizing them or anything. So it's people who just, you know, discover Islam on their own. Maria Isabel became a Muslim five years ago. She's one of a growing community of Latina converts across Latin America. Many of her friends were concerned she was sacrificing her freedom when she turned to Muhammad, but she says she feels more respected in her new faith. In Islam, as a woman, you are valued for your education, your principles, ethics and morals. But above all, we have our piety and beliefs. We express the faith through our search to become close to Allah. During iftar, a communal meal which breaks the day's fast, families and friends come together at the mosque. The rise of Islam in South America is expected to become even more dominant over the next decade. New converts say they're helping break the stereotype that all Arabs are Muslim and all Latinos are Catholic. Friday marked the end of the holy month of Ramadan, when Muslims observe fasting from sunrise to sunset to commemorate the first revelation of the Quran to Prophet Muhammad, according to Islamic belief. Celebrations of the Eid al-Fitr, the end of fasting, take place all over the world. Here in Sao Paulo, about 4,000 Muslims gathered in the city's main mosque, the Mesquita Brasil. Among them, Such a beautiful azan and the mosque. Them some semi-new arrivals, like this refugee family who came from Syria about five years ago, fleeing the war there. Thank God there is a Muslim community and a mosque here for us. The Muslim community helps us a lot to live in peace here in Brazil but also helps us to feel as if we were still in Syria. After the prayer, it's time for the meal that breaks the month-long fasting. It's an opportunity for the Muslim community in Brazil, mostly of Arabic origin, to come together and celebrate their religion and their culture. There are Muslims from many different countries here, from Lebanon, from Syria, from Morocco and from other nations. So it's beautiful to see all the people celebrating the end of Ramadan and praying together in the mosque. 
E a gente faz oração na mesquita. This is the oldest mosque in Latin America. It was originally built on this site in 1929 by a group of Lebanese immigrants. And it is to this day a magnet for Muslims from all over Brazil as a sacred place to practice their Islamic faith. According to estimates by the mosque staff, about 80% of the people who worship... I'm watching right now this and it looks like mosques in Islamic countries. So wonderful. ...are of Lebanese origin, by far the largest Arabic community in Brazil. Another 5% are Syrians, and the remainder made up of a mix of people from many different countries, including a notable contingent from Africa. People from a lot of places around Brazil, uh, they come here so they can feel like a big family. Because, you know, we live in a country that's not Muslim, so it's difficult uh, to like feel that it's not the same that you're living in a, a Muslim country. With Ramadan now over, it's time for observant Muslims to celebrate with their community, no matter what part of the world they are from or where they find themselves today. I am a Spanish, I am a new Muslim, and only, only this is uh, something I wanted to, to show, because usually we are all the time thinking that uh, Muslims are foreigners, Muslims are not from our society, but there are many European Muslims and we have to listen to them. And many times we are invited to conference to talk about Islam, but we are citizens, we can talk about everything. We have to be critics with ourselves, of course, Muslim, we have to communicate better and communicate uh, uh, more. We have to open our mosque, we have to open our houses and explain to, to the people how we are, what this means for us, what is the meaning of uh, the Prophet Muhammad for us, why we pray five times a per day and what we say while praying. We have to communicate better. But on the, on the other hand, media and, and, and political uh, leaders, they have to be prepared and ready to listen to us. In this conference, I am very happy to be here. It's a good opportunity for me, but I miss more practicing Muslims. Islam日本人として見たイスラムの世界を今日は皆さんにお話ししたいと思います。まず、今世界には16億人のイスラム教徒がいると言われています。このイスラム人口は増加率73%という例てで増え続け、今世紀半ば2050年には28億人に達すると言われています
I'm Muslim now. And you know, not once did I ever look back. Stephanie Londono is a professor and researcher at Florida International University. She is an authority on the current trend of immigrant Latinas converting to Islam. We have this phenomenon of Latinas converting to Islam. And it's very interesting, right? Why would you convert to a religion that now has really bad press? You turn on the TV and it's, if it's not about terrorism, it's about oppression, violence, etc. Nothing, nothing flattering, right? Donald J. Trump is calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States. We need to kill them. We need to kill them. The radical Muslim terrorists hell-bent on killing us. There are many reasons to change your religion, but for Gabriella, it was very specific. She found Islam after facing a life-altering choice. So, it's hard, because I don't know how People would take it. I, I was young and naive, and you know, I had a boyfriend. Things happened, and um, you know, I eventually became pregnant. That's when rock bottom hit. I made a choice to have an abortion, and it was hard. There's someone that told me, like, once you become Muslim, you know, God forgives you for everything that you've done. And, um, I think that's what I really wanted. And like to have that, not to feel bad anymore, you know? It's that, it's, it's that, that's what saved me from committing suicide. It's that what saved me from like, you know, wanting to give up. It was Islam, because that's the only thing that I had. It was the only thing that made me feel that I was gonna be okay. And because of that, I am proud to be Muslim. Because of that, I'm, I'm happy. In the United States, there are 3.3 million Muslims and 55 million Latinos. Approximately 200,000 Latino Muslims reside in the US, and 90% of them are converts, most of them women. At a mosque in South Florida, we spoke with some of these women. Because of their request to maintain privacy for fear of being targets of hate, we did not show their faces. El Islam is algo no específicamente para los árabes. El Islam es una religión mundial. I decided that I'm going to be a Muslim. It's not just a culture, it's a decision. Islam is not going anywhere. Islam is the fastest growing religion in the world, and it is projected to become the second largest religion in the United States. These women are actually great examples to see how it can actually join cultures from all over the world. The hijab is a symbol of modesty and Muslim female identity, but it is not technically mandatory outside of the mosque. By donning the hijab, Muslim women are far more vulnerable to discrimination. I feel women who wear the hijab, I admire them so much. But I'm not going to lie to you, like, it's scary. With everything that's happening, with this hate, it really targets Muslim women. I'm proud to be Hispanic. I'm proud to be Cuban and Nicaraguense. I, you know, I take pride in my roots. I take pride in being Muslim. It's who I am. Islam came in such a perfect timing. I didn't even, I wasn't even, I wasn't looking for it. It just happened to me, you know? And, and, and I'm happy that it happened to me. And that's what made me fall in love with Islam. It just came when I needed to be saved. Friday afternoon at Masjid Miami Gardens for Juma prayers. Such a wonderful mosque in Miami. Incredible. Men listen to the Imam speak. His topic is forgiveness. Upstairs, the women watch through glass and on a monitor. And you are generous. This is the world Grace Torres entered four years ago when she arrived in Miami from Cuba. Torres says she lost her identity in the move and found it in the Prophet Muhammad. <laughs> Pregnant with her second son, Mahdi, Torres converted to Islam. That's very hard for me because we don't have family here, just my husband and my kids. And this day, my baby, my Mehdi Aparicio, this day he got born. That's why they said I convert Islam, because I'm scared. 
According to some estimates, there are 3,000 Hispanic Muslims in Miami. Yes, all of us can see each and every person had their reasons to convert, and they knew it's a true. And more than 40,000 nationwide. Stephanie Londono has a master's degree from Florida International University and has published a study about religious conversions by Latinas. She says some women turn to Islam because they are repelled by Western values of success as measured by careers, schooling, or wealth. They are more comfortable with traditional gender roles. They view what some consider less freedom as something positive. It divides the world on a clear grid so they know exactly where they stand. So the Quran happens to become this book that is almost like a guidebook that tells you exactly how to wear, what to wear, when to wash, what to eat, how to behave, when to pray. While feminist Muslims are avoiding the hijab, Latinas embrace it. Londono says they purposely speak Spanish while wearing the scarf to make a stand as a representative of Islam. When the people see you with the hijab, they respect you first. Second, it's, it's, it's emotion so you, you feel because you are different. Going out in public like this breaks traditional stereotypes that all Arabs are Muslim and all Hispanics are Catholic. In her transition from Jesus to Mohammed, Torres also discovered similarities in the cultures. 4,000 Spanish words have their roots in Arabic, virtually all words, starting with the letters A-L. This dates back to the Moorish occupation of Spain in the Middle Ages. Useful, since some of what she's learning about Islam is taught in Arabic. Carolyn Prasuti, VOA News, Miami. Assalamu alaikum, dear viewers. Peace and blessing be upon you all. In the last two decades, there has been a dramatic increase in the population of Muslim converts in Latin America. It is worth mentioning that this shift started right after the 9-11 incident, when the Islamophobic atmosphere was at its all-time high in the U.S. The majority of these reverts were previously either Christian or atheist. Anyhow, the question that arises is why are the Latinos so attracted to Islam? In this video, we'll take a dig into exactly that. So, let's begin. If we talk about the statistics, research carried out by the Pew Research Center in 2017 revealed that about 8% of all Muslim American adults are Latino. According to the Islam in Spanish Organization for the Latinos, as of today, there are more than 250,000 Latino Muslims in the United States that account for the growth of 700% in the last 10 years. In interviews, Latino Muslim converts say that they are drawn to Islam because the religion entails sheer devotion to God, simplicity in principles of faith, and focus on community, things which were lacking in their former faith. However, accepting the Islamic lifestyle does not come without various hurdles, as these converts have to give up their former religious beliefs and often break family ties. A Latino in his early 40s named Luis Lopez said his shahada alongside his son back in 2019. When Lopez was a child, he used to spar alongside Muslims while boxing, which earned him many close Muslim acquaintances. He almost lost his life in 1997 in gang violence. A year later, he had a son, who was later to guide him in his spiritual journey to Islam. Anyway, Lopez was introduced to Islam by his Muslim friends, and he had begun studying about the religion from his early 20s. Although Lopez's son Luis was baptized and confirmed in the Catholic Church, he was more inquisitive in the spiritual life than his father and his family. He knew that Christianity doesn't have the answers he was looking for. Ultimately, Luis came across Islam, and it intrigued him enough that he convinced his father to accept Islam alongside himself. Luis said that Islam appealed to him because it focused on prayers to God alone, and not to God and Jesus or saints. Luis is not the only Latino to have converted to Islam, mainly because of the exclusivity of God that it emphasizes. 
according to a 2017 report in the Journal of Race, Ethnicity, and Religion, in a survey of 560 Latino reverts, around 94% mentioned the desire for a more direct, personal experience of God to be one of the prime reasons for their conversion. Coming back to Lopez and his son, they say they don't regard stereotypes that paint Muslims largely as extremists. The younger Lopez said, they, people, can say what they want. There is no reason to fear because you are doing the right thing. With their conversion, Lopez and his son are now part of a growing segment of the Latino population who are abandoning Christianity for Islam. Moving forward, if we classify the Latino converts according to gender, the ratio is in favor of Latino women. These women say that they are repelled by the Western measures of success, such as schooling, career, and money. They also argue that in the West, women display their influence through their bodies, and they are objectified, whereas in Islam, the sanctity of women is preserved through proper dressing, which not only makes them feel empowered, but also inevitably draws out respect from the opposite gender. Khadija Noor Tanju is a Latin American convert who came to the U.S. from Colombia when she was nine. Her journey to Islam kick-started when she married a Muslim man. Being followers of Christianity, her family was appalled by this union, and they made insensitive comments about Muslims being extremists. However, Tanju's husband assured her that he could never think of harming her. Nevertheless, Tanju felt an urge to know more about her husband's religion, so she privately began to research Islam and even watched a YouTube series on the subject. One night, while she was listening to a sermon, she was completely subdued by its effect, and at that very moment, she decided to become a Muslim. In 2015, she converted. Her family didn't have an intense reaction at first. However, as soon as she started practicing Islam and covering her head with a hijab, their disapproval was apparent. Moving forward, Tanju started wearing hijab because she was looking to lead a pious life as a Muslim. However, she had her insecurities about covering her head, mainly because she felt she was alone in her spiritual journey. Luckily for her, she later found the North Hudson Islamic Educational Center in Union City, where around 10% of the congregation is Latinos. In an interview, she said, I feel really happy. I don't feel lonely in my spiritual path. Latino Muslim groups believe that Islam is part of their heritage. They say that the 800-year-old Moorish rule of Spain left an Islamic influence on Hispanic language and culture, so they are simply returning to their old ways. This relation between Latinos and Islam has been beautifully pointed out by Harold Morales in his book Latino and Muslim in America, Race, Religion, and the Making of a New Minority. We're not choosing to abandon Latin culture or embrace marginalization. We're choosing to embrace something that's already there. Morales also says that the 2016 election cycle, characterized by hate speech and bias crimes against Latinos and Muslims, helped bring the two groups even closer, especially on issues like immigration and discrimination. With that being said, this in-depth analysis into the Latino Muslim converts comes to an end. May Allah keep us all steadfast in our deen. Ameen. As we could see in this video, Islam is growing in Latin America, Latinos in North America as well, and people are more happy with their society and beliefs. They search for something new. They find Islam and they accept it. They cannot reject the truth. They don't believe TV propaganda anymore. They see Muslims by traveling, dava, or even TV dramas, especially Turkish dramas dubbed in Spanish. They see peace in Muslims and the kindness. Latinos are more conservative and their values can easily align with Islam, so we accept it. Many Latin countries have Palestinian and Lebanese communities, mosques built by sheikhs. Also thanks to internet and the dava of Muslim YouTubers. Let's pray for our Latino brothers and sisters that reverted and also for non-Muslims Latinos 
so that we find Islam and accept it. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you are still watching, help me by liking and sharing this video so more people can reach it. Also leave me your thoughts in the comments below. And if you are new and not subscribed yet, subscribe for more videos like this because I upload weekly videos about Islam. Bye bye!